Hallelujah, this is Ozzy Yab in Israel, also known as Wooly. And I just want to share a short word that I got um, This has really helped me. Um, a few days ago, I woke up, I think it was like Wednesday. I got up and I really had this kind of this thought in my head, in my, in my spirit, um, in my mind, uh, about why. And I started to ask myself, you know, why do I do what I do? You know, why? What's my motivation? Why? And I started pondering about that, and I got to work. I was on my way in. I was thinking about that. Um, I heard something, or something just got me thinking about that. Why? And then I, I got to work, and I sat down on my desk there in my office, and I um, texted my wife and told her about why. I said, why? And I said, you know, this question is a lot of people don't answer truthfully. You know, people get in trouble, things like that. They ask why, and they'll lie and say all kinds of things and reasons why they did what they do. And we actually people about ministry work, you know, why do you do what you do? And people you know, say some kind of stock answer, um, but a lot of people don't really think about why. And that why, to answer that question, a lot of people lie about it. They're not really truthful about why they do what they do. And so I've been, I was thinking about why, why, like why, y'all, why do I go out on the corners? Why do I... Um, make videos? Why do I, you know, study my Bible? Why do I pray? Why do I um, do all the things that I say that I do for you uh, Why do I do them? And I really just pondered on that. And I sat, you know, I did my work, walked around, did what I had to do, and I would sit down and I was, the whole day, the whole day Wednesday, I was thinking about why. I'm like, why? Why, y'all? Uh, and, and I thought, I'd say, you know, why? Uh, ask y'all, like, why are you telling me this? Why is this so um, heavy on my spirit right now about why I do what I do. And I, and I said, yeah, you know why, but he was like, why, why, why? I started really thinking about it. I said, yeah, you know, my, my goal is to reach um, Christians. That's my goal because I was a Christian for a very long time and I led many people astray, you know, my family astray, my children astray in Christianity. And I, I, was, uh, I was on fire for, for Christianity. You know, that was live, live by die by Christianity. I was on fire for it. I've given people Bibles, um, and I mean, NIV Bible, one in particular, I gave them this NIV Bible that I bought. I thought was the best Bible ever. I gave it to them, and they greeted me. I was like, man, I gave them this wicked version of the Bible. You know, all the people I've led in Christianity, um, preaching Jesus all over, you know, all the people I've done that to. And I was really like, hardcore for Christianity. I let people astray, so I let y'all, you know, most of my family are Christians, and, you know, my goal is to reach my family and friends who are Christians to pull them out of that darkness with the light of y'all. That is my motivation. That's why I do what I do. Um, and I want to be a, a, a leader in, in Israel. I want to be a leader. And y'all was like, why? Why? Why do you want to do all these things? And so I really started thinking about why, my why, and how you do it. And I, I realized that y'all, you know, I want to please you, y'all. I really do want to please you. You know, and I want to give glory to your kingdom and your people and to build your kingdom. Um, and the, the, the assignment y'all has given me is to go to Christians, which is why I, um, I talk to a lot of Christians. And, and because I was one, I understand the mindset and why they think the way they think and, and everything like that. Um, so that's all they went through. The why, why, why. And then come Thursday, the enemy came, attacked me kind of hard, you know. And, and, I had the opportunity to just kind of buckle and just stand down from on what I do for y'all, you know, and just stand down. And I didn't, you know, I didn't backpedal, things like that, because I knew my why prior to that. I understood why I do what I do. And it motivated to, to reach the people who y'all's called me to reach and to, and to, to talk to who we wanted to talk. I knew that was motivation. So I kept doing it. And I could have buckled down, I could have said no, I could have just stopped, you know, but hey, good morning. Um, but I, I kept going. And the day before Wednesday, y'all put that question why in my spirit so heavily for the attack that came on Thursday and still continues on today. And had I not knew my why and why I did what I do, I would have buckled down and been like, you know, oh, 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 whatever you wanted me to do, I would have just did it, but no. I had my why established, and I knew why I do what I do, and I knew I had an assignment. I knew that Yah has called me to do what it's called me to do, so no matter what comes against me, it's not going to stop. You know, I know that Yah has a, a calling on my life to do a certain thing. Um, I don't have this huge 
calling um, for his world standards, but I know what Yah's called me to do. Um, to reach my friends and family and other Christians and show them the, the light of Yah's word, of his law, actually following the whole of the Bible, and show them how in Christianity they don't do that, and to show them their error in their ways. And, and, and consequently, the one thing that really the enemy um, speak a little bit on it is that my preaching against Christianity. That's the one thing. And I was like, yeah, man, you know, you always prepare us for things that come before they come. And when that came, I, I knew my why. Um, that why. And I, I still look in the scripture. I'm like, when, when, when did Jair ask you why? Things like that. And I remember the first time, and looking up to it, the first time that Yah ever asked the question why was in Bereshit or Genesis chapter 4. That was after Cain um, killed Abel. And it's in Genesis of Bereshit 4, chapter 6. And Yah, Yahuwah said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fallen? Uh, if thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? If thou dost not well, sin lies at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And so Yah asked him, Why you do what you do? Of course, Yah knew what he did. He knew when he did it, and Yah is not a, um, doesn't know things, but he asked him why. And I remember back in, this was after the fall, of course, but Yah didn't ask that Adam. He didn't ask him why they do what they do. He didn't ask him why, you know, but he asked Cain why. And I also thought about in, in Matthew chapter 7, or Matthew chapter 7, on Judgment Day. And let me find a verse. Um, Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. And it's Yahushua speaking. He says, Not everyone that says unto me, Master, Master, sh shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Master, Master, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then what I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. And I thought about that because they did the right things, but the motivation why they did it obviously wasn't right because he said we, they did the right things, but he still said that you are workers of iniquity. So they were, and I got from that, they were doing it from a wrong motivation, a wrong mindset. They did the thing, but they didn't do it for the right reasons. And when you're not doing it for the right reasons, you will buckle down. You know, that's why a lot of marriages fail because people are not in it for the right reason. In it for the right reason, you got to stay. Now, no one's going to stop you, you're gonna, you gotta keep going if you're doing it for the right reason. If you're not doing it for the right reasons, you're gonna buckle down, you're gonna fold, and you're not gonna stand strong for the, for the things of God. Um, so I thought about that a little while, and then the attack came the next day after Yah put that why in my spirit, and, and, and had to establish that. So then when the storms came, and the enemy comes and attack, you know, I already know my why. So I'm already motivated. I know why I'm doing what I do, and I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because I'm motivated, and I, I have a right motive, uh, and, and I know why I do what I do. So no one can come around and, and lead me to a different path and say, you know, like I was in Christianity, they would try to lead me to, okay, go ahead and you can, you can pastor this church over here, and just, you just got to teach this doctrine and do all this. Well, that didn't fly with my why. My why was to lead people out of darkness, not lead them into more darkness. That wasn't my why. But once you find your why, you know, the enemy can come while he wants to. It's not going to stop you. Um, so just short words, I wanted to, to, to motivate you, to inspire you, to encourage you, um, to find your why. Why did you do what you do for everything, but especially for Yah? Why do you do it? You know, we got so many people who give to the homeless, and, and, and it was a good thing. But they got their, their phone out, you know, someone giving somebody something. That's the wrong motive. Your motive should be to help people, not to be um, um, puffed up, not to people to see it. You know, you do what you do out of motivation to please Yah and your assignment to do what you have to do, because everybody has their own passion. Um, but people like that, they're not motivated by the right thing. You know, so many people, um, I posted earlier about these pastors that have all these expensive clothes and things. They're not the right motivation, you know. I, I can't wear $2,000 shoes where there are people around me who are hungry. And not because they're on drugs or under, the, under that, that, that bondage, but it's because um, this capitalist system is wicked, you know, and, and it, it, it is made strong 
by having the poor. They have to have the poor to stand on or to build up the rich. Um, so you got to make sure you have the proper motivation. So I encourage you to find the motivation that makes you do what you do. And that will keep you, that will keep you going. When tough times come, that'll keep you going. Um, relationships, that'll, that'll keep you going. In your ministry, that'll keep you going. Um, that would motivate me to go out. You know, I just went out the other day, you know, and then a little opposition came um, from the normal opposition, you know. Um, that didn't stop me, because I already know what I'm my assignment. My assignment is to go out there and preach the word in season, out of season. I know what I'm doing, so I'm motivated. I know the right motives, and I'm not going to stop, you know. And you have to make sure that you have your why. You know, your why will keep you going. I heard one motivational thing, uh, this Christian guy, um, he said that um, you have to find your, your why is so strong, he said, he can bust through walls with it. You know, you gotta have that why that keeps you going because the enemy's gonna come, you know. Uh, if you stand for righteousness, the enemy's gonna come. He said, in his world you shall have tribulation, but be a good child will come to the world, he used to say. Um, you're gonna do great, great trials and tribulation when you enter into the kingdom. We have to overcome to the end, we have to endure to the end. You have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. We're fearing for Yah's with us. So you have to make sure you have a why so when storms come, that you keep going. If you don't have a why, or your why is wicked, you know, y'all will expose that and it won't, it won't last. Um, I like how that one, it was a, a scribe, a Pharisee elder, uh, was talking against, I think it was Paul or Peter, one of them, and they wanted to stop them from preaching the word. And they said, of course, they say, you know, oh, we'd rather obey Yah than obey men. And that one elder guy, he said, you know, hey, leave him alone. And he said, if they're properly motivated, it, it, it are, he said, if they are doing this for Yah, we can't stop it. But if they're not, it's going to fall anyway. So if you're not doing things for Yah, your right motivation, it's going to crumble. You know, whatever you're doing, it will last for a short time. It's going to fall. But if you are doing it by the right motivation, the right power, the right heart, Yah, it will stand. So my encouragement to you is to make sure that you know your why so when the, when the enemy comes, that that why will sustain you to keep going and to overcome.